Good morning, children. Welcome to my online class. In my last video, I had explained about Lok Sabha. And today, in this video, I am going to explain you about the Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha. It is the upper house of the parliament. It is also known as the Council of States. How are the members of Rajya Sabha elected? The members of Rajya Sabha are elected indirectly by the people. First of all, the members of the Legislative Assembly of different states of our country, they are elected and thereafter they elect the members of Rajya Sabha. That's why it is called that the members of Rajya Sabha elected indirectly. The presiding officer of the Rajya Sabha is the vice president. Along with the vice president, they also elect a deputy chairman who preside over the seat in the absence of vice president. So here, the members of Rajya Sabha are elected on the basis of proportional representation system by means of single transferable vote. So here, what do you mean by proportional representation systems? Here, proportional representation systems means each and every state, they are having a specific number of seats in proportion to their population size. This is called proportional representation system. And what is the term of the office? term of the members, the term of the members of Rajya Sabha is 6 years, however one third of its member retire after every second years, after two years by rotation, after which re-elections once again conducted to fill up those one third vacant seats of the house and this is how. Rajya Sabha is the permanent house of the parliament, whereas Lok Sabha is the temporary house. Lok Sabha can be dissolved, but Rajya Sabha cannot be dissolved. Let us know about the composition of Rajya Sabha. Likewise, our composition of Lok Sabha, here also you have to follow the number game. 250, 238, 12 and 245. The maximum strength of Rajya Sabha is 250 by the constitution of India out of which 238 members are represented from different states and union territories of Delhi and Puducherry and rest 12 members. They are nominated by the president from among the distinguished people in the field of science, art, literature and social science. Now at present, the strength of Rajya Sabha is 245 members. So this is the composition of Rajya Sabha. You have to make a note of composition. Lok Sabha composition, Rajya Sabha composition, Lok Sabha qualification, Rajya Sabha qualification, 
okay children let us know qualification of member of rajya sabha here also uh, like uh, lok sabha here also uh, qualification given only 3 but uh, there are more qualification he must be a citizen of india uh, whatever the qualification required to become a member of rajya sabha lok sabha almost all the qualification is quite uh, same only in the field of age there is a little difference Uh, Lok Sabha one, uh, he should be at least twenty five years of age, but here Rajya Sabha one, he should be at least thirty years of age. And whatever the other qualifications I have told you, when uh, I was explaining you about Lok Sabha, that one also here you have to mention. He must be a registered voter of any constituency of the country. He should not be an insolvent. He should not hold any office of profit under the government. state government or central government he should not be a proclaimed criminal and he should not be of unsound mind so these are the qualification of rajya sabha so children we will learn about the relation between the lok sabha and rajya sabha in our next class along with the power and functions of the parliament so this is too much for today thank you take care of yourself